Hey hey hello welcome to my channel Triple Two Tarot this is Sakal Tuba I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you and today reading will be your most requested reading who is coming towards you in love what is next in love for you who is coming that you're going to be in a next relationship with or you're going to be in a union with uh, if you're manifesting somebody or specific person your special person if you are waiting for someone so this reading is going to be a confirmation for many I, either you are single you are in a waiting or you are in a relationship or you want to be in a relationship anything who is coming towards you in love and who will you be in next relationship with and how your relationship will be how you will know that he or she is your person or anybody that you're interested in so this is going to be a general reading please take what resonates and leave the rest book a personal reading everything is given in my description you can reach out to me for your specific um situation reading you can if you want to you can even follow me on instagram link is given in the description please do not get scammed i will never contact you anywhere on social media so let's start the reading you have a four group in front of you choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you group number one is the feather number two is this teddy bear number three is the butterfly and number four is this pyramid okay so choose intuitively either whatever the group you want to choose you can also choose by your zodiac sign you can see that the first group is libra pisces sagittarius Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, and Scorpio. So choose intuitively or choose by your zodiac sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, anywhere, anything that you're really connected with. I'm going to meet you on your reading. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will meet you on your reading. Let's go. And give me your feedback. I will really appreciate it. Group number one, welcome. I am, you choose the feather, okay? There's something spiritual happening here. Um... You have a Libra, Pisces. You guys could be very spiritual. You're definitely manifesting your soulmate. I'm picking up in Sagittarius. I'm hearing love confession. Even though I was not before doing your reading, I heard um, love confession. So some of you, this is a love confession coming from somebody uh, that who's going to confess their feelings to you. Um, there's definitely love confession here. This is romantic. I'm picking up here. Uh, because literally I'm picking up this person is going to um, confess their feelings to you or when you maybe you will meet this person they are going to be very lovey-dovey this is a very romantic person um, let me see what is the card okay we got the lovers here I can't show you the card here because of uh, let me see if I can put it um, hmm. so your card is lover okay so definitely Gemini energy here this is like a look at this mutual attraction this is literally your lover here somebody that you're manifesting somebody that uh, I'm also picking up because you choose the feather here so this is a divine scent or a heaven sent person here somebody that who is divinely guided in your life this love is divinely guided uh, this person is divinely guided here another thing I'm picking up here I'm using um, after a long time this this is my very old deck when I use to start tarot channel so maybe this is a nostalgia so this could be some type of a nostalgic love here that this person is going to uh, you know feel like uh, someone from your past life or somebody that you just connect with it's like it's so easy it's so flowing it's like just connected with each other you feel uh, you know seen and heard by this person so let's see who is this person coming towards you group number one I'm also um, hearing the birds so it could be crow is very important here the birds in, in birds crow parrot yeah i'm hearing birds you will see that you you may be even going to see the feather we have an ego so let me see let's see who is coming towards you head of spring so maybe spring season is very important here or something oh moon card I'm hearing moon child moon child could be moonstone also is very important for you or significant for you fairies are important you guys could be the people that who believe in fairies or fairy tale type of romance here are you not going to believe that when it's going to happen something because i'm seeing fairies here it could be when a butterfly you guys could be into like uh, disney's you know like type of a movies it's going to be like a feel like a disney type of a uh, romance here between you and this person i'm picking up um we have a two major arcana here, moon, and this is the devil, by the way. But look at this. Oh, my God. So I, I told you it's a very intuitive and very psychic and very romantic, very passionate connection coming your way. A lot of you already know who this person is. Bitch, you already know. 
We have a king of autumn, yeah, somebody who's very compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and gifted. By the way, this is a king of pentacles here. Look at the dog. Very loyal person. They could be born into a, uh, you know, dog year of Chinese. Oh my God, I just did not see that. Oh my God. Oh, are you kidding me? I just saw the card now. It dropped out. I was just focused on this card. Oh, wow. King and queen of pentacles here. I'm in divine couple. I mean, are you kidding me? I... I love that this card came up live. Um, you cannot say that I'm making stuff because it's just dropped up. Okay, we have the rabbit and we also have the dog. So this person could be born into rabbit or dog year. Your divine counterpart here. I too, uh, the lovers, oh my God, I just, I cannot make this up. You both just complement each other. You both could have an earth sign, uh, earth moon I'm picking up, earth moon, especially Capricorn moon here and Taurus moon. I'm also picking up Sagittarius moon here. And it could be even Leo moon or Aries moon, uh, fire moon maybe. One of you could have a fire moon, other could be earth, or you both could be earth, or earth and fire, I don't know. But l listen, this is your divine counterpart here. This is somebody that who is meant to be in your life. So you could be very generous, stylish, and uh, gracious, and practical. This person really find you like you are the one. We have the moon and the ego. Uh, I think you both are going to trigger each other ego. And you both are going to be keep it low key in the beginning with a moon card, or maybe right now there is definitely you both are madly, deeply, crazily in love with each other, but you both are not letting each other know because of your ego. This person also have a big ego and pride because I'm picking up lovers and devil came up together in the reading. It's definitely talk about very intense connection, very karmic, and with the moon card, it's like something that is already. Um, it's like you can feel it. It's very psychic. It's very intuitive connection here. I, I, I should not put any other cards here because I know what, what, what is this all about. Oh, we have the balance bottom of the deck. It's a karma. This is a temperance card. Look at the lion. So this person could be Leo, definitely. Uh, there's a Leo lion energy here in this person, but they're very loyal. This person is very loyal and compassionate. There's something about this person is giving me the king vibe, like they definitely king, the lion, the one and only. This person does not want to share uh, you with anybody. And th similarly, they're expecting from you that you just are mine. You know, like lion to lioness, king to queen type of a couple, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Wow, this is a divine union. We have the balance. You both are going to balance each other out. There's also blurred here. You guys could be releasing a lot of karma together. It's not going to be easy, but you will. This person could be into war. Like they could be into some type of a profession, like let's say military, army, police or something to do with blood hair. I could be even somebody who is professional, business man or woman. You both could be very creative. You both could be very stable, independent people. You both also have some type of a balanced karma out here in this lifetime. You both are going to definitely balance each other out. This is going to take time between you and this person to balance this energy. I think when one person is going to be an ego, other person is definitely going to connect with the energy. And... Uh, you are here to teach this person that you should be grounded, okay? If this person has some ego and pride, obviously they, are, they have it. If this is a very masculine, because we have a lion and dog, this is a king of pentacles. I mean, come on. This is somebody who's definitely um, very, like, masculine energy. And this is a very feminine energy. So you really balance each other out. This person needs you. You need them. Not in a bad way, but I think there's something about you. You definitely going to help this person to release their karma because there's a lot of blood here. So I'm picking up this person. Yeah, I'm hearing bloodline. So that could be a song here that's coming into my mind. I want you in my bloodline. It's Ariana Grande song here. Please listen to it. Bloodline. I'm, picking, I, I'm just not reminding the song here, like the whole song, but that's coming into my mind. So maybe that's relevant to you. Music could be important here because I can also see that she's definitely is like listening music, creating music. So this person could be into something like creativity, okay? Or, or something that they do for activity or they do for business, work, profession. With the Eight of Spring here, there's a lot of uh, communication here. There's a lot of passion here. This person is definitely going to see you as their equal. Their king to the queen. And also it's giving me the vibe of like somebody who's like in a vampire series. The guy who, who was in a vampire series. I don't remember the name here. This person is going to find you like you're very beautiful, you're very magical. Like you, only you deserve, you know, equal to them. 
So because you really balance each other out. But there's something about this person and you help, you're going to help this person to release their karma. Any toxic karma, any toxicity, any ego, like you're going to let, you're going to humble them. You're going to let them. It's like there's something about your energy here. You're going to humble them. They're going to learn from you. It's not going to be easy though uh, because this person is not the person to bow down to anybody. Like it's me. It's all about me. But when you are going to be together, you both need to understand that it's not about you or it's not about this person. It's about balance. That's how it's going to work. It's giving me the strength vibe here, but it's not a strength. It's, it's definite number 14 here. It's a major arcana. So it's definitely temperance here. And the next card is a devil here. So temperance is here. Definitely is talking about uh, healing each other and thinking about other person consideration, uh, input into consideration of other, others' feelings and merging this viewpoint. This person need you. This person is going to believe like you're the fairy, you're the like angel came up into their life. Like they never thought that they're going to be like this. Uh, this person also going to be, I think, very, very protective of you. This person could be very powerful, very person, or they are powerful, uh, you know, like say, they are powerful person sitting on some type of a throne here or business or opposition. I'm picking up. If it's not, then they definitely is very powerful person by themselves. So this is not somebody who's just like Buddha, 11-11. So this is definitely somebody... Um, you're going to connect with on a lot, a lot of level, I think emotionally, mentally, spiritually. This connection is going to be definitely, uh, I told you, like a dream come true for both of you. So you both are going to be divine couple. Doesn't matter whatever your, your uh, you know, gender is or wherever you're coming from. I'm also picking up with the moon card here and the devil. It's going to be very intense connection. Like you both are going to be very addictive and obsessed with each other, Loki. But you both are not going to show up like we are desperate for each other. You are, both are. I'm also picking up with the moon and this energy is like very intensely. And it wants like... Uh, Sex will be very hot between you and this person, like very passionate. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of desire here. And I can see that with the blood energy too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My mind is definitely going there. But this is somebody that you will have a lot of, uh, you know, like activities with, intimate moments with in the bedroom. This person is going to submissive to you in the bedroom like they're gonna be like i am definitely lion i am the king i'm giving the example like you know like i am giving you the example of a lion so the lion only you know go down or connect with the lioness right so that's what i'm picking up here from this person energy whoever this is masculine person is in this reading who is going who is going to listen to you know her feminine the masculine is going to go down or submissive to the feminine and only i think you can handle this person only you can balance this person there's something about your energy here that you tame the beast you you have something in you there's a connection here one two three four four major arcana here number four could be important here uh, this person could even have a aries placements in their chart they could be very aggressive. This person could be very like um, all about me, 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 like very hyper independent, confident and somebody who's like all about themselves. But the connection is teaching both of you that you need to understand their point of view and they need to be basically to bring the balance in the connection. Because for this person, it's, it's like an ego death here. It's an ego death here. And you are, it's like they're doing it because they know that they, you are the one. Only you can do this. Let me tell you, only you can do this. And there's also like you could be very like a moon energy here, like very intuitive, very soothing to this person. Your wise, your energy, your feminine energy is going to be very soothing to this person. Like they're just going to be in awe of you or going to melt it in your arms, like something like that. They're going to melt. They're going to also, literally this person is going to give you the compliment like you are the angel. Uh, you are the person that I'm doing this. Like they're going to give you this compliment. Like you're going to feel very special in this person's life. Because obviously this is not somebody that who, who is like that. They're not like this. It's like this person is like a rare breed of something. Like they're very picky. They're very choosy. I don't think so this person can even allow anybody to come near them. Because they're very egoistic. Like they just like, I have to win at, all, at any cost. I have to win it. Uh, I don't know. I, I just have to win. I am the one. You know, that type of, li the only, the lion, the only king in the kingdom. You know, something like that. But they will allow you to come near. Like, okay. Something like that. Energy here. Okay, let me see more. Yeah, I'm picking up, you could be Sagittarius. Or this person could be Pisces, Cancer. Uh, I'm picking up definitely Earth, Moon here. Uh, and Fire, Moon. But could be, uh, we have a Gemini here, Capricorn here. Let's see. 
Yeah, we have a surprise. You may be about to be surprised. And this love, you're, some of you, you already know who this person is, maybe with a moon card. There could be some type of a hidden uh, obsession, addiction going on here. You both are. Uh, and things are going to get balanced between you and this person, I think. Uh, so this could be a surprise coming. Yeah, we have admirer, I told you. Sagittarius energy. This is also like anchor here, permanent. Uh, it's, it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. This person literally going to be your admirer. Like there's something about you, you just... The way you connect, the way you... They're going to even give you a surprise. or could, could be some type of a gift here coming to you. We have a tested. Your strength and weaknesses are being tested. Yeah, I think this person is going to test you. They're going to even write you something. Could be the surprise or gift coming from writing something. They're also going to be very lovey-dovey. I think they're going to be very touchy with you. This person love physical touch could be important or act of service. I'm also picking up gifts here, gift giving. If this person love language... We have a dream. I told you with the moon card, you could be seeing this person in your dreams. Share your dreams together and uh, encourage each other to make them into reality. So some of you, you already know who this person is and others of you, this person is coming in your dreams. So they have to come into reality. But I think they're coming. Within a one week or month, you will definitely hear from them or could be even it could take some time because this person is definitely going through their ego death. They need a time. Look what I told you, yin and yang energy. It's came up. Like the yin and yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. So I don't want to go there, but it could be twin flames or soulmate, but I could say divine counterpart with the king and queen of pentacles. We also have a devil and lover, so could be. This is a very intense connection though. This is something um, not usual. It's not like just uh, you're just going to forget about this person or they're going to forget about you. No, this person is here to stay. But there's also a lot of test here. We have a signs. So yeah, watch out for signs leading you to true love. This is the love of your life. This is a true love. And there's a lot of signs here. You can, I think this could be some type of hand love languages here also. This person gonna share it with you. Something about love language could be even hand signs. Yin and yang, maybe you're going to see the symbols or you're gonna see this type of signs here. This person gonna write something to you. They could be into artistic thing. I told you like they're very creative. Something with the music. Are they gonna share some type of gift to you? They're even going to give something draw for you. That's only for you. That's how you will know that. But what I'm picking up here, look at this bottom of the deck. We also have Ace of Winter here. So this person is, look again, the tiger here and the lion. So something with the tiger here, maybe they're born into a tiger here also. And lion, we also have the rabbit and dog. Um, Ace of Winter, yeah. Communication, truth is coming out. Could be winter is going to be very, very important. Are they born into winter? You met in them in winter or you will meet in the winter. Look at this. This person is going to find color pulper could be important and butterfly. This person is going to follow you. They're going to think that you are the fairy, like you are the angel. Like there's something, oh my God, this person. Oh my God, this is sweet. This is very cute, okay? You're not going to believe that this person is following you like you are the fairy, you are the angel. They're literally going to tell you that you are the angel, like you are the, you, how you did that. They, they're not going to believe that. This person is going to follow you. I think you could be very moon energy, like fairy. You're very intuitive, you're psychic. Um... You're a healer. You could be very creative. Um, you definitely, I think, tell this person something or you did something, you said something. You're going to help them to release a lot of trauma. You're going to help them a lot and they're going to follow you. It's like they're going to think like, no, you, you are right. Yeah, you're right. I just believe you. I just trust you. This is something like that. This person, the masculine is going to be with the feminine like that. And we, we also we have this Snow White here. So th there's something about maybe Snow White or Snowflake. This person feels like you're very unique. You're different. You're very different from everybody else. This person also going to make you feel like you are the beautiful. You are the out of this world. You're very special. Again, it's like king to the queen. Oh my God. You're not going to... It is not possible that you can forget this person ever. This is divine counterpart. This is somebody who's here to stay. This is somebody you're happily ever after. So if you already met this person, congratulations, this person is about to come. It's just a matter of the time that they just need to go through their own ego, ego death here or they're, they're releasing a lot of karma with this uh, and with the help of you, by the way. With the help of you. Because you are doing this. You trigger in this person something that they need to. I also believe that this person is going to tell you that never ever anybody touch their heart or anybody, never ever anybody, you know, help them to release that. But you look at this, this is a blood and this is the, like water going on. Or it could be even a milk here. I don't know. But this is somebody, you're going to help this person to release their drama. You're going to help them to see the path, to follow the path, what they need to do. And they just need to be comfortable in the feminine energy. I think before meeting you or uh, before this person was all about themselves, 
um, are right now. They're all about, but they, they're understanding. They're coming. They will, they're coming, but you just need to be balanced. There should be a patient here because it's tested. It's not going anywhere. This is coming. This person is definitely going to come towards you. So that's what I'm picking up here. Let me see any advice for you. What do you need to, what is the advice for you? I would say one week, one month, or could be even the winter is very, very important here. Spring, autumn, and winter. Yeah, this, this season, wherever you are in the world. Spring, autumn, and winter. What is the advice for group number one? Then I will move towards group number two. Oh, that's a lot, sorry. I'm gonna take one. Nine of cups, yeah. Live in a constant stage of gratitude. Here you go, the dog again, the puppy. Oh my God, I, can't, I think this person is going to be, oh, I can't make this up. This reading is definitely going somewhere. We have the tiger following her and here is the, the dog, I wanna show you. Can you see that? Here is the tiger following her like a fairy and here is the, do the dog is sitting with her, the puppy. So this person is going to follow you wherever you are. Wherever you are the, in the world, you know, wherever you're taking this person, they're gonna be like, okay, I'm with you. This is like a puppy love. This is somebody who's going to follow you no matter what. This person, must it's like this person blindly believe you like you are the one, that's it. You did something, you did the magic. I think this person only going to listen to you, that's it. There's also another thing here. This is going to be a big compliment for you. You're gonna feel very special. Whoever the feminine is, if you're feminine here, this is about you because the masculine is going to follow. And if you're a masculine in a masculine energy, man or woman, whoever you are, if you're in a masculine energy, I'm talking about it, you're gonna follow your feminine anywhere in the world, anywhere. And this person is like also going to be like, masculine is going to follow her feminine like, oh, she's right. I'm just gonna follow her, I just trust her. And puppy love, look at this. Oh my God, this person gonna do. So just be gratitude, be in the energy of being happy. Living in the present moment gonna bring this person very soon to you. They're not going anywhere, they're just companion. They're just here to forever with you, to stay with you. So just be patient and allow this person to come naturally to you because this person's ego is big and they need to go through, go through it. <laughs> so that's your reading, I'm gonna see you later, bye. Hello, group number two, welcome. If you choose this uh, teddy bear, welcome on your reading. This is like a pink teddy bear, it's very cute. So something that you're going to notice that this person is going to be very cute. I saw triple two, so you're gonna, you're gonna see triple two a lot and you are on a triple two tarot channel. So let's see, and your zodiac sign could be uh, that you choose is Aries, Taurus and Cancer. So let's start it, let's see who is coming towards your love and how, yeah, Knight of Cups. This person is going to be very romantic, very cute. They could even born into a horse here. I think this person is going to be very passionate. Something about age 24. Are you gonna see triple two a lot uh, before meeting this person? This looks like somebody who's coming to ask you out, like they, they're very interested in you. Night is like a messenger, somebody's literally coming to ask you out and asking you out, being, you know, like telling you how do they feel, confession could be coming, or maybe they want to meet you. Yeah, and this person is going to be very cute, I think. Um, it's, I think you will go on a date with this person because they're coming with some type of intentions of to date you, obviously. Uh, you will go on a date with this person, okay? They feel like they're very romantic. I'm picking up this person's Venus sign could be in a water sign, like Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Their Venus could be in a water, like they're gonna be very romantic, or could be Mars in a, in a water sign, um, especially Pisces. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna be very romantic. They could be also very creative here. They could be into horse riding. Two of spring here. Some of you are picking up it's the same gender maybe. I don't know. We have a princess of summer. The dreamer. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Makes sense. Isn't? Makes sense. I hope you can see the card. Yeah, you can. Um... Where should I put it? Okay, I'm picking up whoever this is. You can see that Princess of Summer is talking about gentle, sensitive, kind, and inexperienced. Yeah, I think this is somebody, the dreamer. They're gonna be young than, younger than you. This is, some, this is a very young energy. So they're gonna be very like younger than you or could be inexperienced in love. Like they never experienced this type of a love here. So it's gonna be a very like a new thing for this person because I was almost picking up this person is going to get uh, butterflies. Uh, in their stomach 
There's something with the butterflies, fairies. Um, you're going to mirror this person, okay? It's the, like this person really wanted equal give and take. I'm also picking up you're going to do travel a lot with this person. There's a lot of adventures here. There's a lot of fun here. You both are going to be very creative in your dates here. Yeah, I think this is somebody uh, you're going to um, be on the path here. And we have the dreamer here. So this is somebody who's definitely a dreamer and they're... They have a lot of like uh, energy of like a very like a free spirited person here. They're not here to like. Um, some of you maybe you don't you don't like it, but I'm telling you this person could be coming with experience of like they wanna see where this relationship can go because they're really really interested in you. They they find you very uh, very beautiful, very attractive. Um, they could be even falling for you. They are admiring you. This person is gonna be very romantic though. Um, they want to see that with the two of spring that if it's mutual or not or if you, if you both can work together or not They want to be on this path here with you. I think they want to see that where this can go So they're coming with these intentions of like Let's get to know each other because I feel this is a new person here or somebody that was around you and they're admiring you So they're gonna ask you out. They definitely have Aries Taurus and cancer placements, but I'm also picking up. They could be Aquarius Okay, are they they definitely have Aries placements um, with a fire and water maybe in their chart we have a parrot and we have the dog. Yeah, this person could be born into a dog year, okay? Nine of autumn here. Interesting thing here is that this person is going to be uh, independent, okay? They are definitely financially stable. Yeah, magician. This is another sign talking about they're going to be younger than you. This is a younger energy, okay? If, if you're not into that, then this is your not your reading. Pick another pile. This is somebody who's going to be younger than you, the magician and the dreamer. I can see that. They're going to be young. I'm picking up. They, uh, yeah, that's why I was, I was picking up like 20 plus or 30 plus. I'm picking up in their 20 and 30, 20 to 30. They're going to be younger. I'm also picking up age year. Could be even 9 to 10 years age difference here between you and this person, literally. And if you are also in 20s and 30s, so it could be 2 years, I would say. Their age could be right now, currently 29, 22, 24. Uh, I'm just picking up randomly, okay? Yeah, this person is going to be younger than you. They're going to be very creative, artistic. Uh, they're also like a very uh, passionate person, um, adventurous person. I think they're very open-minded. Um, they're going to also be very like, there's something about path here. So you both are meant to cross the path each other. They want to see that where this can go. I think they really want to have a lot of fun with you, adventure with you. They maybe also see that you are the same. The one thing that you both are going to click with each other is like your mind. You both are going to have a same mindset, like you both want to experience a beautiful things, uh, explore different places, okay, with the magician here. And also, you both are going to be creative. I don't know, you both could be into uh, self-made people, working for yourself. This person is also very intuitive. I think they're very sensitive and gentle, kind soul. Uh, but they're going to be inexperienced in love. Maybe they don't have a good experience in love. Um, they're single definitely with the nine of pentacles and magician both are coming together So maybe you both are single so you both are gonna I think you are ready to you want to see that where this can go You're definitely gonna communicate with them. That's what I can see you're gonna talk to them You even gonna go on a date with this person. It's not gonna be date It's gonna be a lot of fun here like something that you both are experiencing. Maybe you're gonna go on a hiking a date night Could be into park could be into I'm picking up safari. I don't know or something to do with uh, this person is going to show you something that they created, maybe. Yeah, I'm picking up Gemini and Virgo energy here. Now, Gemini and Virgo, they're going to be very beautiful here. I think even though this is a guy here, they're going to look very beautiful. They're going to, they have a very gentle and beautiful look here. Their skin is going to be very good. I think they could be into hygiene, like good hygiene or something. They're also in a good diet, I think. They really take care of their body. I think you're going to feel very youthful with this person. Like you're going to feel very young. Doesn't matter whatever your age is, but you're going to feel very young and youthful. You never experience, you need this experience, I think, um, with this person because I think universe is sending this person to have fun. It's up to you if you're going to be with this person or not. But I think a lot of you, you're going to go on a date with this person. I can see that. You will, do, you will go. You want to see where this can go and you want to explore. You want to see that how this person is going to treat you and you're going to like it. There's something about this person and your mindset is the same. Um, and this person is going to be very um, cute, very attractive. They maybe even have a very good voice here. They're even going to make you laugh. You're going to feel like you're both are good companions or buddies. I think you, you are going to get along very well from the day one. When you will meet each other or talk to each other, it's going to be 
getting along. You maybe even meet this person through work. Yeah, this is definitely younger. Prince of Autumn. Yeah, this is younger. We have a princess and prince. You both could be the same age. You both could be uh, like into your teens. And this person is a teenager. Um, but, oh, I know a lot of you like, oh, I'm gonna be don't teenager. So it's not about teenager. It's like this is somebody who's young. This is a younger person. I'm, I'm female or male, whoever this is. This is a definitely younger person with the princess and prince. And magician and dreamer are also talking about it. Oh, yeah. We have a prince of autumn. It's, this is somebody who's going to be dependable, protective, and chivalrous, and humorous. Yeah, I think you're gonna enjoy a lot with this person. This is somebody who's a very curious mind. Um, but they're gonna take wise action. They're gonna be also very protective of you and you, you're gonna like it. Like, wow, this person is definitely going to surprise you with their action or with their, uh, I think they're gonna be very thoughtful of in dating, how to plan it. They are definitely inexperienced in love, but they want to see with you. I think they see something in you that they think that you both are a perfect match or, or you just get along or you both have the same mindset. This person really want to, into, uh, they're also into detail. I think there's some Virgo energy in this person. They're very into details. They're also very kind to others. There's something about also you're gonna like that. They're very kind, they're very sensitive soul, they're very gentle. Um, maybe that's why you will go with this person because you think that you don't wanna break this person's heart. But you're gonna like it. I think you're definitely gonna stay with this person for a long time. And others of you, you used to talk to this person, so they're gonna come back. Something maybe you were waiting for, two of spring, for this person to maybe, or they were waiting for the right time to come towards you and now they're ready, I think, because I think the now stars are aligning, so they're ready to come on this path, to talk to you, to meet you. Yeah, I think they were in a hermit mode. This is definitely Virgo energy here. They could even have a life path number nine. Or you have a life path number nine, and I'm also picking up one, life path number one and nine. Yeah, I think you, you will give this person grandma energy. <laughs> I don't know, like, what is that? There's something about grandma here, or granny. Ancestors, maybe this person is going to talk to you about their ancestors, um, their granny, grandmother, or mother. I think you both are divinely guided here. You both are gonna talk about things that, this person gonna to talk to you very private and very personal thing that they never talk to anybody. There's a very good energy here in you or in this person. This person was in a hermit mode, so I think they were definitely not experienced, uh, or maybe they had a relationship in the past that did not go well. Um, or they maybe even, I think this person knows that very well. But they will still come to you because they're very attracted to you. They could be even divinely guided in your life. You both are going to, I think this is a connection between you and this person. You both are going to take a break from society. You both are going to explore things. Uh, this person also maybe take a break from things and they wanna be with you. They're very independent, I can see that. They have been in isolation for a long time. So now they're very curious that what the love looks like. They may be even still looking for the love story, uh, their first love, or let's say they wanna fall in love, they want to experience the love, because I think this person never did that. And they feel this with you. Find or be a mentor. So I think you are going to be a mentor for this person. Maybe they think that you can help them. Um, you can, they're, they're gonna learn something from you because this person is like a very, like a student-like, they just want to learn, they're very curious mind. So they want to learn from you. Another thing I'm picking up here, you both are going to learn about each other culture. There's something about language here. You both are going to learn about each other language, um, culture. You both are going to maybe go together in different places to you know, explore things together. A commitment to your spiritual growth. Yeah, I think this is somebody who's spiritual, definitely. Virgo and Gemini energy here, and Aries and Aquarius. So this connection is going to be spiritual, this person, and this connection is going to be like, you're gonna feel like they're on their own journey of exploring love and wanting to be in love and wanting to connect with you. A lot of you, if this is somebody who was in isolation and they took a break from you, you definitely wanting and waiting for this person to come towards you. So congratulations, this person is coming. They want to give this relationship a chance. And why, they will tell you that why they were not ready, because I think they were thinking about it, because they were inexperienced in love. So they thought that maybe they're not going to be on your expectations, but now they will come. There's something about, uh, yeah, I think there will be an age gap here. This person is going to find you like a fairy. Look at this, I'm seeing this pictures here, nine of summer and two of winter. Look at this, how this person look at you. They think that you are the fairy. You remind them of someone, they're literally going to tell you that you remind them of their grandma, mother, grandmother or something. Or they see that you are the magical, you can help them, you can, they wanna marry you. You even wanna surprise that this person is planning about future here. Look at this, this is like a little kid here watching this girl, big girl. So there is an age gap here, I'm telling you. Yeah, music very important here. And the travel very important. Adventure is very important here. 
you both gonna learn from each other it's also about music and dance important here this person is an off you like they can't even you know like I, I don't know they're very nervous whoever this is they're very nervous they're very hesitant they think you're very beautiful you're very beautiful that they can't even match up with your energy here maybe this is about you that this person find you with the nine of cups and nine of pentacles like you're very beautiful why you even want to be with them why you want to even choose them if they will come to you but they will come it's like this person is in the on the crossroad right now like should they approach you or not but they will i think that they're definitely finding their courage and strength to come forward some of you so they could be a secret admirer some of you i'm picking up or somebody has a crush on you they like you and they're gonna ask you or this person gonna ask you out for date and romance and all that stuff remember that this person is definitely not experienced so i hope that you're not gonna make them feel awkward but i think uh, you will go a lot of you i think you will go There's also nine nine here. You will see triple nine a lot and triple two. So it could be the month of September is very important here. Uh, we have embrace. Oh my God. And again, the kids here. <laughs> embrace with destiny has store in, in store for you. I, oh my God, this is so cute. This person even going to let you go into their school. Like they're gonna share their lot of, you know, like cute memories. Like they used to go into that school. I used to learn the dance there. I used to learn, learn that music there. Like they're gonna show you everything. Every corner of their life like this person is going to be very very like buddy best friends lovers some of you you maybe already know this person from childhood because there's a lot of kids coming yin and yang here so it could be soulmate twins uh, but totally opposite from each other they're going to be younger than you i'm telling you you will balance each other out you will keep seeing the signs here this person could be into going to be um show their love through a lot of signs and giving you signs and hints like yeah i think they're gonna be very shy here and reserved too but not like shy it's like in a bad or something i think they're inexperienced yeah but we have a love deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships yeah i think this is this is definitely somebody uh who's gonna be very um deeply connected with you i think they're gonna fall in love with you are they already in love with you so they're, they're coming out of it and some of you you're on the path to find them you did not met them yet so I'm talking about future here. I hope you it makes sense. You do not met them yet. Because I think with the nines here, all that you're working on your spiritual growth, your journey, and this person is waiting for you on the other side of the world, wherever they are. It's like the moment when you will meet this person, you just click. And they know that you are the one. Something like that. You're on the path here. They, I, remember I told you like there is a path here. So you're on the path to meet this person. Are they on their path to meet you? Yeah, we have a let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in the divine timing. So some of you, you just need to let the situation or anything that you're expecting, please let it go. I think this person is definitely going to be totally different that you never experienced before. But universe has a surprise for you. This is going to be your soulmate, definitely. Wow, we have a union. Oh my God, you are just... This looks like uh, it's giving me the red, th red thread theory or something that you're always connected energetically, telepathically. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So I think you're definitely preparing for your soul union here with this person. They're deeply waiting for you. This person never experienced love, so they're waiting for you. Are they coming? For, they, they, they're, they're coming. They're coming out of this phase. They want to experience this love with you. There's something about infinity symbol here. Yeah, I think this connection is going to be obstacles here between you and this person. Maybe look for our ways around the obstacles to find happiness. But you will definitely, there's a sunshine here. There's definitely sun rising here. You will be together. At the end of the day, this person, I think, looking for you. It's like whatever you seek is seeking you. Whatever you manifest is manifesting you. They're going to be very uh, artistic, creative. They're going to be very, very innocent soul I'm picking up here. They're going to be very youthful. You're not going to, you're going to feel very young by this person. Let me see what is the advice for you. Anything that you need to know, what is the advice for you for this connection? You're going to feel very alive with this person. You will definitely, it's like, this is going to be a breath of fresh air for you that you never experienced before. But you will be this person's first love. Or you will be this person, that true love that they're looking for. This is a divine connection though. What is the advice for you? So we have the two of wands. Your, your decision. Decide your future here. Nothing else. Yeah, look at this. We have this um, fortune. This ball, crystal ball. And we have the candle. So a lot of you are manifesting this person. 
you're on the path to meet them you did not met them yet and others of you it's like your decision here you will decide either you want to be on this path or not you could be even getting uh, tarot readings on this person or watching a lot of tarot readings you could be even doing spell candle spell or, or burning candle or something like manifesting this person in some way when you're doing meditation you can feel this person energy i think through divination, okay, you're really, really connected with this person. They're coming out, I think. You will. This person is going to reveal to you very soon. Are you on the path to meet them? There's something about number nine is very important here. Please always remember that. Triple nine, triple two, month of September. And season, I'm picking up here, obviously spring here. And could be even autumn. Spring and autumn season. And August is also important here too. But let go of expectations because you have no idea who you're going to meet. So that's the reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. I saw triple four here, so you're divinely guided toward this person. Butterfly is a transformation, that's why I choose the card here. And so zodiac sign could be Leo, Virgo, and Aquarius. If it's not, then still, it's for those people who pick it up by zodiac sign. Doesn't matter. So let's see who is coming towards you in love, how you will know that, who is this person. So we have a three of wands, and we have the ten of pentacles. And trusting, we have the bee here, so could be honey bee is important here. You're going to meet this person in the future. I'm picking up this person is coming to you. You did not meet this person yet, a lot of you. This is your future spouse, ISA 4114. So a lot of you, you're manifesting your future spouse. The person that next is coming into your life is going to be your future spouse or somebody that you're going to create a family with, abundance with. You're going to live together. You're going to move in together with this person. This relationship is going to move towards definitely something serious and solid. Whoever this person is coming into your life. But this is happening in the future right now. To your wants. Could be the next three weeks or months important. Our month of October is very, very important here. You just need to wait. I think because you're in the process of, you know, finding this person. So let's see more. This person could be um, an earth sign with a fire placement. Sagittarius I'm picking up. Okay, let's see more. Who is coming towards your love? Group number three. Family is very, very important here. This person is literally going to tell you about family or they want a family. They want a commitment. This is somebody's family, girl or guy. They're definitely looking for family. To your winter. Bear, bear could be important here. Five of spring. Oh. King of summer. Definitely a water sign. Could be. Honorable, devoted, mature and warm-hearted. Water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who's going to be a water sign. Seven of winter. Let's see who's coming towards you in love. Queen of Spring. So maybe that's why the B is here. Queen of Spring. You could be a fire sign. Very brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. Fire sign. You could be fire and water. Oh yeah, there will be a lot of passion here between you and this person and attraction uh, between you and this person here. Why this person is turning away from this connection here though? So a lot of you I'm picking up, you did not met this person yet because they are going through their own personal struggle here with the three of swords, five of wands, and seven of swords. It's like this person is struggling with their own, some issues, personal issues, like they could be getting over somebody or they're heartbroken, so they need to heal, obviously. They need to allow themselves to welcome you in their life. Or maybe this is you, you both are mirroring each other somehow. There, there will be some type of a misunderstanding or miscommunication or competition will happen when you will meet this person or if you're going through it right now, you're waiting for this person to come forward and, and give you commitment. So, and this person is running away from that because they're not ready for it. This person, it's not like they just don't want to give you. They know that you're the perfect match and they're very, very attractive and drawn to you and, and they like you. But there is something about this person's childhood trauma here that they run away from commitment. They have a phobia of it, like they can't handle it. This could be a runner here, some of you, I'm not going to lie. This could be a runner who's coming back to you. Uh, like somebody who ran away from you, ran away from this relationship or commitment because they have a fear of ex like commitment. Could be even a widened person that you're dealing with. Somebody who, who can't deal with emotions. So they run away. This person could be going through personal stuff here right now. I, I, I believe this has nothing to do with you, so don't take it personally. There's something going on in this personal life. It's personal. Okay, like could be growth with the money here and, and could be something to do with competition going on here in this person's life. They could be even getting over their ex, like there's some type of ex drama involved here or friends involved in drama. In it. There's something going on, drama here in this person's life, okay? There's also something to do with the competition here. 
But let me see. Who's coming towards you? Something about winter. Maybe you met them in winter and spring is important here. Let me see. What is that? Oh, five of winter. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Third party situation here. Look at this. It's like this is a couple and this person is like... Oh, this person could be cheated and betrayed in the past. So they don't have a trust. They have a trust issues here. Someone cheated on them. Someone betrayed them. Someone left them in the cold. Someone broke their heart. Someone ran away. This person need to forgive that the past, whoever this is, they need to forgive the past in order to be in this connection. Now, it could be vice versa. This is you. You both could be mirroring each other. You both are going to trigger each other past here when you will meet this person, to be honest. But I mostly feel either this is, this is coming from that side, from this person's side. They are ex, they are past energy here. There's a drama going on in this person's life. I don't know. If there's some type of a drama shit going on here in this person's life. And this is nothing to do with you. This is this person is very attracted to you. They like you. They're going to fall for you. Are they already in love with you? But there's some type of a drama going on here. Some of you already know this person. So there is this drama going on here. You know that. And you have to wait. I think they will definitely come forward and let you know or confess to you. But right now, it's like you need to give this situation a time. Yeah, this person has a big ego and pride here. This is a devil card. Yeah, this person has a big ego and pride. They don't, definitely this person has a trust issues. They could be even Capricorn. Yeah, this person has a trust issues. They don't trust, they don't trust anyone. This is somebody who's like, I don't know how many times they cheated, betrayed on, or they were just, they have a guilt maybe about something or someone. This could be when somebody is very guilty about their past. Are they guilty the way they treated you maybe? Yeah, it, it, this could be literally your buster person who, who is guilty because they hurt you. They run away from you and they're guilty now. And they now can't see you with anybody else. But I think this is something coming from their past here. They're guilty about something. They're regretful about something. They, are, they did something or they've done something in the past. So let me see what's more here. Yeah, we have an emperor. This is an Aries. Mm, yeah, this is... Yeah, this person going to take their time. We have an Aries energy. The somebody who's, whose emotions are in the control. The heart is in the control. The world. This person has a big ego and pride. They could be even very creative, artistic. They have a good warm heart, but they don't open up anybody. They, they need to warm their heart. This person definitely don't listen to their heart. Uh, they even very, very come off like very strict, very like in power and control of their emotions. This is also somebody who has a big ego. We saw that already. They could be even sitting on some type of a power and position too. Because I'm feeling that this person could be coming from some type of a wealth and family, the Ten of Pentacles. So they want to see. They want to see where this can go. I think this is somebody who's going to test you. Are they already tested you? And now they're guilty. They're grateful because they really put this drama and game too far that you may be walked away and you don't care anymore about this person. So they're really going crazy here, whoever this is. They maybe have a fear of losing you. Yeah, there is, I think you should be patiently waiting for this person or there's somebody, maybe you did, if you did not met them yet, you're gonna, you need to patiently wait because there's something, this person, why your divine counterpart or somebody need, did not came up into your life yet? Because they're going through their own personal shit or personal drama right now. They need to handle it. Then they will come to you. And others of you, this is somebody that you already know. You invested into this person with the seven of pentacles. You waited, you waited for this person or you're currently waiting too. But they need to go through their own shit. They need to release the trauma. They need to release this karmic ties. Uh, they need to heal. They need to forgive the past. They, they even need to, you know, it's like there should be an ego death here. They need to work on themselves. It's nothing to do with you. So don't take it personally. Whoever this is coming into your life. You're very brilliant. You're very loyal. You're very talented and friendly. And this person's... This person could be even insecure about you, to be honest. They're very insecure because they think that you can cheat on them. Um, you maybe even, this person is very intimidated by you. They maybe think that you're not going to be with them, stay with them. Because they have their own insecurities here that they're putting on you. I told you, this person need to let the past go. They're regretful about something or someone. Or whatever they did to you, they may be hurtful. This is somebody, I'm not talking about your ex here. This is somebody that you have some type of, a, let's say, unfinished business with. This is somebody that um, you're wondering where the hell this man or woman go. What just happened? You will know. They will come to you. 
with this lot of uh, maybe explanation or something but right now no this person has a big ego they need to let down their guards there's something about family involved here and father father and family okay We have obstacles here in this in this relationship. Yes, you will face some obstacles. Or right now, there's obstacles here. So you need to give this person a space and time if you already know them. And if you've not met this person because they did not come to you in your life because they're going through their own shit. But even though you will meet this person, let me tell you, this person has some type of a baggage here from the past. They're going through some of their own shit. They have a lot of like betrayed energy. Maybe their own family, friends, people betrayed them, their partner. Um, yeah, we have a yin and yang. You're going to balance each other out. You will be masculine and feminine energy here. Number eight could be important here also I'm picking up. We have openness. Yeah, this person is going to open up to you. There's something about your energy here. They're going to open up to you. You may be even going to be open to receive some type of divine, uh, divine you know, uh, uh, guidance here. This could be somebody that you have a past life connection with. So you're going to feel very, very connected with this person. And they're also going to feel very connected to you. You may be going to meet this person when you are traveling somewhere or you may be even studying something or creating something for yourself. There's a point here. Yeah, I think you will be very, very, uh, again, there's a honeybee here. There's something about honeybee. Yeah, I think you just need to be patient here because the result is going to be very good. You're going to get the reward of your patience here, I'm hearing. Look at this honeybee. A divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. So I think you're definitely seeing this person everywhere. You have definitely a divine connection with this person from past life. This person is coming in your dreams. You did, not, you did not meet this person yet. But when you will meet them, you just need to open yourself to this person. Because maybe you're going to compare them with your past or they're going to compare to you with your past. But there's something about honeybee here. Yeah, this is a love. This is an attraction. Oh my God, love conquers all, conquers all. I think you both are going to mirror each other. There's something about your past here that's gonna reflect a lot, or especially this person. Yeah, but there will be a lot of attraction here, like this person can't even deny that. They're gonna be your divine masculine here. We also have a receptive love here. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Interesting. Hmm. With this book here, lesson, I'm picking up there's a past life lessons here that you both need to learn. You both are going to learn from each other. You both are going to learn uh, from your past lessons. You both are going to help each other to, you know, release your past lessons here. There will be a lesson here. You both are also going to maybe trigger something in the past. You're not going to believe them or they're not going to believe you, but you both are meant to be together. The love and attraction is definitely going to be undeniable between you and this person. The chemistry will be there. Yeah, there will be some tested energy here of weakness and strength are going to test it here. I think because, yeah, I think this person will get on your nerves I'm picking up because of their not reciprocative energy, but they will be receptive, I think. I'm also picking up she's definitely hearing on some type of a phone call. So you're going to receive some type of a call or message from this person. Some of you, this could be somebody coming back to you. They're going to trigger you definitely because they're going to call to you. They're going to text you or message you and you're going to get triggered. But you just need to receive, maybe listen to that, why they just did all that, what happened between you and this person, or why they did that, why they did not open up. Maybe they have something to tell you that you don't know about their past. Maybe there's something that you don't know what happened to them uh, in the past. Because there will be obstacles here. But I think it's, it's, it's meant to be, because there, this is very powerful love here between you and this person. I told you, this person is confused. They're, they're regretful, what they did to you or what they did in the past. They maybe even compared you with their past here. This could be that person who's regretful, they want to come back. Uh, and others of you, this person is very confused right now. Like they're, you're confused, where, where is your love? When are you going to find your love? So you need to let the past go and this person also going to be also match your energy because you both are mirroring each other or this person is right now. There's an obstacle here is that you both cannot be together. It's not the right time yet. And other of you, this person is returning because they definitely have a lot of passion and desire for you. Like they, they just want to explain things to you. They're regretful and they want to mend things. But I'm not talking about your ex here. It's up to you, obviously, if you're going to allow them or not because I think the love, passion, every... This is very powerful love here between you and this person. The love is there. The passion, attraction is there. But maybe there are issues here that you both don't want to talk to each other. 
but you should talk to each other because that's how you both are going to learn and understand about each other so let's see what is advice for you i saw five four four five four we have a page of cups let yourself be continually surprised by this thing called life yeah page of cup it's like just just open to receive you will be surprised whoever this person is okay and life is going to surprise you whoever this person is or when you're going to find them when you're going to meet them there's something about ocean here just go with flow with the water you know just flow the water just go with the flow like a water and also follow your heart so you will be surprised i think there's something surprising coming your way but allow yourself to be surprised and love allow yourself like whatever the fate has planned for you it's, it's very it's very very clear here be ready to receive what fate has planned for you maybe you want something but god has a different plan for you so be open for this i think whatever this is for you maybe that's what it is, it is. because you're going to find very powerful very beautiful and very like a strong connection with somebody that who is meant to be in your life but there will be obstacle there will be differences there will be some issues here that you need to maybe understand but you your connection with this person is very very strong intense past life so that's your reading i'm going to see you later bye hello the last one the people who choose the pyramid welcome on your reading um your zodiac sign could be if you pick best your zodiac sign capricorn scorpio and gemini does not matter if this is not your zodiac sign people just choose that okay by the choice but let's see who's coming towards you are you choosing it pyramid so we have a magician oh so whoever is coming into your life you're manifesting this person they're manifesting you you maybe have somebody on your mind and you are continuously manifesting this person you're manifesting your divine counterpart you're very powerful you're very creative you're very artistic uh, you guys are very very i think very very connected with the nature with the spirit with the divine obviously because you have a scorpio hair I, I believe a lot of you, you already know this person, okay? So you could be manifesting this person because you like this person, you like what you see. You, this person could be younger than you or they look very youthful. They are also very great, powerful manifester here. So I think you both are energetically connected with each other. So it doesn't matter whoever this person is in the world right now, either you know them or either you don't know them, even though you never met this person because they're coming in your way, you are connected with this person. This look like this is going to be your ideal partner and they're gonna be your ideal partner. And you're going to be this person, uh, ideal part, person like that, okay? But I'm picking up Gemini and Virgo energy here. Maybe this person is Gemini or Virgo or you are like that because you have a Gemini. This person is going to be very romantic. They could be into fashion, designing, I'm picking up, or something like they dress very well, they look very good, they smell very good. Oh, because this is a business person, king of autumn compassionate accomplished charismatic and gifted oh this is somebody going to be very attractive and we also have the dog here this person could have a very like a big dog some type of a rare breed of dog i'm picking up also it's giving me even though it's a earth sign it's giving me leo vibe like this person could have a leo placements in their chart they're going to be definitely younger or youthful oh this person is definitely love to spoil they want to be spoiled and they're going to spoil you. They're very charismatic. I mean, wow. I think when you will see this person, you're going to feel like, uh, what, what they call, like breath of fresh air. Like you're going to even skip the beat. Like something like you're going to, in awe, like wow, how, how can be this person is that attractive? Something about this person, charisma, their aura, they're very gifted. I think they're very divinely gifted. You can see that. We have an ace of autumn. A lot of you, this is a new person. Congratulations. And this is also a new person here. So you never met this person yet. Or maybe you're manifesting them. Because you like this person, that's why you're manifesting them. Or this is a new person coming into your life. This is a new chapter. I would say new chapter. This is a lot of earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this person has a baby face. I'm picking up divine child. There's something about divine child here. This person could be into divine things like tarot, esoteric things. They believe in those things or could be an occult. Uh, they believe in these things, I think. They believe in predictions, astrology, a lot of stuff. This person could be even going to be investments, like they have a lot of investments. We also have the candle. So yeah, I think this is somebody... <sighs> They're going to be very loyal, loyal to you. They're going to be like a friend to you, but like a child-like around you. You're going to see that totally, totally different person when they're with you. Because they're, they're going to be in love with you. There's also something about if this person is like they have a very childlike energy, but they show this only to the people that they're connected with. So lucky you, you're going to see them. 
because otherwise this person is like this aura like i'm cool i'm fine i'm like um, very like a face like don't touch me don't come to me closer i think they're very picky also like a king vibe queen vibe like very picky they're gonna be single by the way when you will meet them they are single whoever this is another thing i'm picking up here there's something about books here maybe they like to read books or history they maybe give the nerd vibes okay like this person will have a baby face there's something about this person's face is going to be very baby face very cute something about children they love children or they have children they want to have children they will be working with children i don't know there's something about children now let me see three of summer oh this is somebody that you're going to be friend start a friendship with are you going to meet them through friends mutual friends you will be friends with this person another thing i'm picking up uh, if you both are into if you are an artistic person they're also like that so that's how you're going to meet this person in some type of an event some type of a party function event festival this person is also going to be there because remember i told you they, they are into fashion or something they could be even a model here because i'm picking up here this person look very good they could be a model so you're going to meet them through some type of a collaboration friendship mutual friends through friends yeah three of cups is definitely like fun friendship like um yeah five of summer six of uh, six of winter and we have awakening yin and yang energy here soulmate so you're going to be start as a friendship you're going to to get to know them as a friends another th thing i'm picking up here maybe you will meet this person when you are not happy in your life you're moving on from something or someone and then this person is going to be introduced you to by the friends so right now maybe that's why you can't meet this person with the awakening here because you're going through your own spiritual journey here you can't meet them right now i don't think so this person is right now in around you are you together or you can see each other or meet each other right now no maybe there's a distance here with the awakening and six of winter maybe there's a distance here or this could be even emotional or physical distance between you and this person here right now i don't think so this person some of you you don't know this person yet you will meet them in a the winter summer winter and autumn maybe are very very important uh, season here whenever you're going to meet them i think you're going to meet them through brands somebody who's going to be a friend okay that you're going to meet them through that and you will meet this person when you are maybe going through your own personal awakening or healing or they are going through some stuff here um this person could be even moving on from something so they're going to be that's why when i get to know you they will be just start as a friendship so they're going to be i think why i'm putting here this could be somebody who put you in a friend zone or you will put them in a friend zone in the beginning one person who is going through some shit here they need time to heal to recover from the past to let the past go so the, so they can welcome the new one so this is somebody either you're going to put them in a friend zone or want to get to know them like as a friend and then this relationship is going to swall start or develop into something more or let's say you're going to be acquaintances first like working together getting to know each other or or there's some type of a collaboration here or something you just here for business for work that's that's how you're going to meet i think in the beginning i don't think so this person has intentions to you know uh to fall for you or you have intentions to fall for this person but eventually it's going to happen there's something about friendship here either you will be friends friend zone or also friend through friends you're going to meet but this is also talking about distance here so either when you will travel to go somewhere and you're going to meet them or they're going to travel to see you or when you're traveling with your friends or attending some type of an event here or any type of an event concert friends you're going to enjoy with somebody and you're just uh, not even looking for love or you're just not in the in the mindset of love that's how you're going to meet them or they're not even not aware that you're coming into their life this person's going to be shocked and surprised you're going to awaken this person by the way you're going to awaken this person pisces energy here now and also libra we also have the hermit reverse yeah i think this person will be very busy when you will meet them so i think they they're going to put you in a friend zone in the beginning or you will put them in a friend zone because there's a hermit reverse here like this person even does not have a time to think about relationships friendships or romance because they're working on their business business work i think this person is a workaholic a lot of you or they could be even getting over somebody yeah three of five winter definitely i think there will be definitely some type of a struggle here in the beginning 
to get to know each other to get along with each other so if you know already this person so this is that person okay right now they're gonna take their time because they're not awakened and you're awakening them and it's not an easy process because they need to let the past go in order to welcome you or to be with you or to start a new chapter they could be even younger than you because they never experienced love maybe they just all always be in the relationship like friendship or fun parties drinking you know you even going to meet this person when there's a lot of drinking here some type of party and fun or travel involved here this person does not have a time to even think about it love they don't have a time so it's going to happen when the timing is right right now i think there's a delays here in this connection either they put you in a friend zone there's a limit here right now i don't think so this relationship is progressing or when you will meet them the relationship is not going to progress as much because i think this is going to be like either it's a long distance so this person need to think about it there will be a third party here it's a distance long distance or this person need to get over somebody or there will be some type of a thing stopping this person to start or think about relationship because they're, they're busy they don't have a time for that Are they going to put you in a friend zone or are you going to put them in a friend zone? I don't know, whoever is putting the other person friend zone. And it's going to make the other person feel like rejected or ignored. It's not the case. But because there's something that this person needs to... The dreamer, yeah. Aries energy, could be Aquarius. Also picking up Virgo, very strongly Virgo and Pisces. Hmm... Look, we have a four of winter, four of summer, yeah. So I think you will keep waiting for this person. And ten of spring, yeah. This is somebody who's definitely going to take the time. You're going to feel like it's one-sided. One person is definitely feeling it's one-sided. It's going to be a burden. It could be even a friends of benefits connection here. It's going to start as a friends of benefits. I know you don't want to think about it. Because with a dreamer here, this is somebody who's definitely going to make you believe that they are on this path with you. They will be with you. They are a companion. You know, they will be with you. But eventually, they're going to not there. They're going to take their time to awaken to this love or to get to know you or they need to change the perspective about this love here. Because I think there's something about both of you is like you both are different. Somehow, you both are different. You both have a different belief. You both could be coming from a different community. So this person is thinking, how, how are we going to get along? How it's going to happen? Something like that. Are you different from each other? Or, or you will meet them through friends and uh, or something to do with it's like you will keep waiting for this person to step up to to come towards you you're gonna take maybe you will even think that they just this is not going anywhere or if right now you're dealing with the situation and you're waiting for your person that where is my person I'm keep manifesting keep manifesting and I'm keep disappointed in love and keep meeting people are putting me in friend zone people are just leaving me just you just need to keep go with the flow here with the dreamer here just don't think about the future here just go with the flow with the free spirit because you're about to meet this person on this path here this is for those people who are single and others of you this person is going to be in the beginning this relationship is going to be like a the rough start it's going to start as a rough start because there's something about a uh, lot of like some type of responsibilities here with the tennis spring also something to do with awakening healing some someone someone need a time to think about relationships and friendships and they don't have any time or this person could be busy so there will be some type of differences between you and this person and whoever is definitely doing other things here that this person is going to feel like it's one-sided it's not the case it's like something that this person should be on the same page with you and they're not ready and prepared yeah, I think there will be an age gap between you and this person. You're going to be very smart and intelligent. This person is definitely going to like your strong, patient, self-sufficient and funny energy. You will be very witty, very like uh, energetic, very smart. This person is going to like it. Um, and they want to get along with you. Maybe they're going to be start as a friendship. I told you, you're going to not, you will be confused. Like you're going to think that they just want to be friends with you or friends of benefits. They don't want to be serious with you. No, they're going to take time. This person want to take time because they, I think, already getting over somebody or are, they even don't have a time for date because of their business or work, whatever they're doing. It's like they're always busy. They're always busy. Like this is a social butterfly or whatever the profession they are. It's like they need to be busy. They're always working. They're always on the go. And maybe that's why you will bring this, 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 this pause in this person's life that they need to also think about relationships. They need to, you're going to change this pers person's perspective about love. Are you going to change this person's perspective about open to new culture, new tradition, uh, experiences that they never did before? 
yeah i think they could be even with the king of autumn here they're going to be like old school type of a love perspective or traditional type of a person so maybe they're not they never experienced this before because it's something risky and something that is going to like they need to take the leap of faith on this path they need to trust you right and they will only do that when they will be uh, strong enough yeah this person gonna find you like you're a goddess you're beautiful yeah i think they're gonna definitely because of you they're gonna get get this strength and courage to come forward and to let you know about their feelings but i think you're more stronger than this person they're gonna be in, maybe in the beginning intimidated by your energy maybe they're gonna find you like you're not interested in in them as they are so i think this person gonna be definitely uh take their time because they're gonna find you like very very strong opinionated and uh, intimidating in the beginning so they're gonna take their time by the way are you going to take your time to open to this person or melt by this person, I think. But the love is definitely coming. So you just need to wait, I think. Um, and others of you, you're going through your own spiritual journey right now. You did not met them yet. But when you will meet them, I'm telling you, there will be some obstacles here. It will also start as a friendship. Yeah, past lives here. Yeah, this person could be guilty. Don't get guilt in the come the way. Yeah, there will be some respect here. Respect your relationship. Yeah, you both will be different. There could be also ISA triple one, legal in, matters involved here. Connection, yeah. You're gonna feel the connection very strongly, but this is going to be tested. This love is going to be tested. Yeah, this is going to be a very spiritual connection here. With the awakening, I can see that. It's gonna be very spiritual connection, free spirited type of love here. Yeah, you're gonna, you, I think you're gonna make the boundaries here. And a lot of you, this is you, you the lesson that you're learning is your spiritual lessons here with, the, with anybody that you're currently dealing with. You just need to make the boundary. If they are the one, they're going to come forward and you just need to let it go and, and, and unfold naturally because your spiritual journey is now beginning or this person's spiritual journey is about to begin with you. It's going to be a new start for this person. I think they never experienced this type of a love. Yeah, recognition here. The divine will help you to recognize signs and miracles. Yeah, the cupid is coming. I think this would look, I told you, this person was not looking for it and the love is coming in their way. The love is in the air when cupid's around. So I think love is in the air. Somebody's about to come, for, come forward and let you know about their feelings. But it's, it's like they're facing a lot of challenges here, obviously. There will be, this is also going to be a very challenging connection too. Because of, I think, barriers or differences between you and this person. Or because I'm seeing there's a difference here, or communities, or friends. I don't know, there's something about this person maybe... There will be some differences here. Or maybe they never experienced this type of a love. It's saying your connection is eternal and unbreakable. So it's not going anywhere. When you will meet this person, it's just the, the matter of the time when you will meet this person. It's going to be that time. This person could be have a difficulty to express their love. I think they're going to be very into... Their love language could be different. I think there will be a lot of misunderstanding and challenges between you and this person. Look, yeah, we have an ace of thought. That's a message for you. It's an advice for you. Look at you. You are bursting with sparkly new ideas. So yeah, I think maybe you will reach out to this person. Are you going to confess them first? And then they're going to boom, come to you. And others of you, if you already started communicating with them telepathically or in reality, I think you have done your work. Now allow this person to come towards you naturally. And if you already speak up your truth and confess to somebody, now it's their turn. They should be ready now. It's, and it's nothing to do with you. Don't take it personal. When they're ready, they will come. And the people who are single, they did not met this person yet. You're going to cut people out. The people who are not meant for you to stay in your life, you just know that. And then this true person, the, the true love of your life will come into your life. After that, your spiritual awakening and healing and journey. Because you know that if you're dealing with one-sided relationships here, it's not meant for you. The other person also should put the effort here. That's what you're learning. This person needs to speak up. They need to learn. They need to get up. They need to come forward and to let you know about their feelings. And they will. When you're going to put the boundary here. So this is that person who's coming your way. Either it's a new person, totally brand new person that will meet. You will face some type of challenges. Obviously, ups and downs is there. It's not going to be easy. And uh, if this is somebody that you already know, so this is the, some type of a new beginning and starting between you and this person. It's like a journey of a new spiritual journey, a spiritual lesson. It's love, this love is very internal. Nothing can stop it. It doesn't matter wherever you're coming from, wherever you're living in the world. If it's meant to be, it's, it's meant to be. You will be together. So that's today. I'm going to see you later. Bye.